Art Criticism using Feldman's model of critiquing art. This is a video of the Georgia Department of Education Fine Arts presentation. Your job as an art critic is to decode the secret meaning of the artwork. There are many ways to critique a piece of art. And in this course, we'll follow the Feldman's model of art criticism. In the Feldman's model, you work through a four-step process. The four-step process is description, analysis, interpretation, and judgment. Step one is description. In this stage, you'll only be looking at the facts and not putting any of your own interpretation or bias into the paragraph. Much of this information is contained in the credit line under the artwork. The elements of art used will just be listed at this time. Be objective. Be general. Do not use personal feelings or meanings. Just list what you see, such as a person, not a mother, people, not men, general. Step two, analysis. This is how the work is organized. In this step, you're still collecting facts about the elements and principles. What elements are used? Line, shape, color, texture, value, space, and form. How do the principles work to organize the elements? The principles are rhythm, movement, pattern, balance, proportion, variety, emphasis, and harmony. You're collecting facts such as, um, do you see repeated lines creating rhythm? Is the color scheme in primary colors only? That's the sort of thing that you're looking for in this step. Step three is interpretation. And the interpretation is just that, your interpretation as the viewer of the artwork and what you think it's about. In this section, you'll tell the background story of the artwork and reveal what clues you used to make the interpretation. This is really the creative part. You can make guesses about what you think the artist is trying to say, what you think the artwork is about. What message does this artwork communicate to you? You can explain or tell about the meaning or the mood of the artwork. Now you must back up your opinion with facts and clues you collected during the first two steps, description and analysis. Step four is judgment. This is when you decide whether the work of art is successful. Now you'll also need to say why you do or do not like it. Then you'll make an aesthetic judgment about the artwork and decide which aesthetic viewpoint best supports the artist's intent when making the art. Remember a work of art can be very successful aesthetically, but you might not want to live with it. Now it's time for you to complete an art criticism paper of the artwork on the next slide. So you'll need to download the four part art criticism worksheet to complete this assignment, or you can look at the online form.
please refer to this painting while you're doing your art criticism. If you look below the image, you'll see the credit line. This usually includes the title and the name of the artist, when it was created, what it was created of the medium or media. Usually it will have the size and also the location of the painting. All right, let's get to our art critiques. Thanks for watching.